Hey there, candy lovers. Get ready to celebrate a day dedicated to one of fall's most iconic treats. It's National Candy Corn Day. This delightful day is all about appreciating those colorful sugary kernels that have become a staple of autumn festivities. Whether you're a longtime fan or a curious newcomer, there's something magical about candy corn that brings out the child in all of us. These cheerful little tricolored candies with their distinctive yellow, orange, and white stripes are synonymous with the fall season. They remind us of cozy autumn days, pumpkin patches, and the spooky fun of Halloween. Candy corn has a way of evoking nostalgia, taking us back to simpler times when trick-or-treating was the highlight of the year. Whether you love it or playfully despise it, there's no denying that candy corn holds a special place in our hearts and candy bowls. Some people can't get enough of its sweet, mellow flavor, while others enjoy the playful debates it sparks. But no matter where you stand, candy corn is an undeniable part of our fall traditions. So grab a handful, settle in, and let's uncover the sweet and surprising world of candy corn together. Did you know that candy corn was invented in the 1880s by George Renninger, an employee of the Wonderly Candy Company? It was originally called chicken feed because corn was commonly used as animal feed at the time. Get ready for some fun facts, a little history, and maybe even a friendly debate or two. For instance, did you know that candy corn is made primarily of sugar, corn syrup, and marshmallow? Its unique texture and flavor have made it a beloved treat for over a century. After all, it wouldn't be National Candy Corn Day without a little bit of sweet controversy, right? Some people argue that candy corn is best enjoyed fresh, while others prefer it slightly stale for a chewier texture. And then there's the debate over the best way to eat it. Do you start with the white tip or the yellow base? Let's dive into the wonderful world of candy corn. From its humble beginnings to its status as a Halloween icon, candy corn has a rich history and a special place in our hearts. So, whether you're munching on it by the handful or using it to decorate your Halloween treats, take a moment to appreciate the sweet symbol of fall. Happy National Candy Corn Day. Candy corn has been around for a long time, way back to the 1880s. Can you believe it? That's over 140 years of this sweet and chewy treat. It was invented by a man named George Renninger, who worked at the Wonderly Candy Company. Back then it wasn't called candy corn, it was called chicken feed. Why chicken feed? Because back then, chickens were a common sight, even in cities. And the colors of candy corn yellow, orange, and white looked like the corn that people fed their chickens. Let's uncover some fun facts about those tri-colored treats. Candy corn has been a staple of Halloween celebrations for over a century, and there's more to these little candies than meets the eye. Did you know that nearly 9 billion kernels of candy corn are produced each year? That's a staggering amount considering each kernel is so tiny. Imagine the effort and precision that goes into making each piece. That's enough to circle the earth four and a quarter times if you laid them all out end to end. Wow, this fun fact really puts into perspective just how much candy corn is enjoyed by people all over the world. The colors of candy corn aren't just for looks, they're symbolic. Each color has a special meaning that ties back to the harvest season. The yellow represents the husk of the corn kernel, which is the outermost layer that protects the corn. The orange is for the fleshy part, the part we eat and enjoy. It's the heart of the corn, full of nutrients and flavor. And the white tip resembles the pointed end of the kernel, the part that connects to the cob. This attention to detail makes candy corn not just a treat, but a tiny piece of art. Candy corn is famously divisive. It's one of those treats that people either love or hate with very little middle ground. People either adore its sweet vanilla-like flavor, which can be quite nostalgic for many who grew up enjoying it during Halloween, or they find it overly sugary and waxy, which can be off-putting to those who prefer less sweet treats. This strong reaction is part of what makes candy corn so interesting, but that's part of its charm. The debate over candy corn's taste is almost as much a tradition as the candy itself. Candy corn always sparks a fun and sometimes heated debate. Whether you love it or hate it, there's no denying that candy corn is a quintessential part of Halloween festivities, bringing people together to share their opinions and enjoy the season. It's time for the great candy corn debate. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, where opinions clash and passions run high over this iconic Halloween treat. In this corner, we have Candy Corn Carol, who absolutely adores this fall treat. Carol's love for candy corn is unmatched, and she's here to tell us why this tri-colored candy is the highlight of her autumn season. Oh, candy corn, how I love you. 
From the moment I see those little kernels, my heart skips a beat. Your sweet, melt-in-my-mouth texture and cheerful colors just scream autumn. Each bite is like a little piece of full magic, bringing back memories of cozy sweaters, pumpkin patches, and crisp, cool air. You're the perfect blend of sugary goodness and nostalgic charm. Every Halloween, you remind me of simpler times, of trick-or-treating with friends, and the joy of finding you in my candy bag. And in the other corner, we have Cornelius the Candy Critic, who's not afraid to voice his, um, strong opinions. Cornelius is here to challenge everything Carol loves about candy corn. Candy corn? More like waxy corn. I just don't get the appeal. It's overly sweet, sticks to my teeth, and has the texture of a candle. Seriously, who wants to eat something that feels like it belongs in a wax museum? Give me a good piece of chocolate any day. Rich, creamy, and satisfying. Chocolate is the true king of Halloween treats. Who do you agree with? Are you Team Carol or Team Cornelius? This debate has been going on for years, and it's time for you to weigh in. No matter which side you're on, let's all agree to disagree, politely. After all, Halloween is about fun, friends, and enjoying the treats that make us happy. So whether you're munching on candy corn or savoring a chocolate bar, let's celebrate the season together. Section 5. How Candy Corn is Made Making candy corn is a fascinating process, and it's evolved over the years. In the early days, it was a much more labor-intensive process. The old days. One cooking the syrup. Sugar, corn syrup, and water were cooked together in large copper kettles to create a thick sugary syrup. Two adding colors and flavors. The syrup was divided into batches and each batch was mixed with different colors and flavoring. Three, pouring and shaping. Workers would carefully pour the hot syrup into molds shaped like corn kernels, working quickly before it cooled and hardened. Four, cooling and drying. The molded candy corn was then left to cool and dry, creating its signature chewy texture. Section six, how candy corn is made, continued, the modern way. Today, candy corn production is much more automated thanks to technology. One, continuous cooking. The sugary syrup is cooked in continuous cookers, which maintain a precise temperature and consistency. Two, automated depositing. Machines deposit the colored and flavored syrup into cornstarch molds, ensuring each piece is uniform in shape and size. Three, drying and conditioning. The candy corn dries in the molds and then it's tumbled to remove any excess cornstarch. Four, packaging and distribution. Finally, the candy corn is packaged and shipped off to stores ready to be enjoyed. Section seven, candy corn trivia. Ready to test your candy corn knowledge? Let's see how much you've learned with a fun trivia quiz. Question one, what was candy corn originally called? Was it A, chicken feed, B, corn sweets, or C, tricolor treats? Question two, about how many kernels of candy corn are produced each year? Is it A, 1 million, B, 9 billion, or C, 100 million? Question three, what does the white tip of a candy corn kernel represent? Is it A, the husk of a corn kernel, B, the pointed end of a corn kernel, or C, a drop of milk? Think you know the answers? Keep watching to find out. Section 8 Candy Corn Trivia Answers Let's see how well you did on the candy corn quiz. Answer 1, A, chicken feed. Answer 2, B, 9 billion. Answer 3, B, the pointed end of a corn kernel. How did you do? Did you get them all right? Even if you didn't, you learned some sweet candy corn facts today. Section 9, more than just a treat. Candy corn is more than just a sweet treat. It's a symbol of fall, tradition, and fun. It's a reminder of crisp autumn days, trick-or-treating adventures, and festive gatherings. Whether you enjoy it by the handful or savor a few pieces for their nostalgic charm, candy corn continues to hold a special place in our hearts and candy bowls year after year. Section 10, celebrate the sweetness. So go ahead and celebrate National Candy Corn Day. Grab a bag, share it with friends, and enjoy the sweet and simple joy of this iconic fall treat. What's your favorite way to enjoy candy corn? Do you have any fun candy corn traditions? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 11, conclusion. Thanks for joining us on this sweet adventure into the world of candy corn. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more fun food facts, and have a very happy National Candy Corn Day.